All right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is going to be a time. Uh, I can guarantee it will be a time. Hey, Gatsby, SDK, Fionix, Lizzie, Lemon, Eleven Castle, Alex, Shadier, Tiger, Realms, Dracos, Tor, Oniros. All right, CB. Okay, so you should be able to see the rules on the screen. We are playing what I like to call human ingenuity, which means we are allowing ourselves to use things that have been taken and reverse engineered and modified by humanity, but we are not permitting ourselves to use unmodified alien tech. This is a fairly lightweight challenge. This is not, we're not jumping right into the deep end. There's plenty of people who have beaten this game like with crazy challenges like only starting technology or you're only allowed to fight one battle before the, uh, the final invasion of Cydonia. I'm not that crazy, at least not yet. But so those are the rules. Obviously we're not save scumming. We're not using infantry plasma weapons because those are directly stolen human techn alien technology. We're not using small launchers. We're not using blaster launchers. We're not using mind probes and we're not using alien grenades. In addition, in addition, we're not using psionic powers because psionic powers are the most powerful weapons, uh, quote unquote, in the game by a long shot. And so if you're allowed to use psyamps, it kind of like negates all the rest of everything. So that is the way we're going to be doing this. And it should be a good old time. So let's jump in, shall we? Of course, we are playing on Superhuman. I'm not going to turn Iron Man on because, as always, this game can be glitchy. It's a modification of a very old game. Um, so we're not technically going to be playing on Iron Man mode, but we are going to be playing Iron Man. Uh, last thing that I forgot to mention, it is mentioned in the description, but I didn't mention it in the, the rules, as it were. Uh, we are playing with one... Open XCOM mod. We are playing with the improved heavy laser mod, uh, just because that without that, uh, the heavy laser is just really pointless, and I kind of like having it like have a point. Hey, Moon Tiger, thanks for the five bucks. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. So yeah, so we are playing with improved heavy lasers. Uh, the improved heavy laser modification makes the heavy laser, I believe, a, hit a little bit harder and be a little bit more accurate. So there's actually a reason to use it, as opposed to just using laser rifles for everything. Where shall we put our starting base? Uh, yeah, that's how I feel, dragons. Improved heavy laser sh is just how the heavy laser should have been in the first place. Istanbul, not Constantinople. If it's Istanbul, not Constantinople. Why Constantinople get the works? Nobody's business by the <laughs> Melbourne. <laughs> Okay, you know what? That's funny enough that I'm tempted to do it. Um, it would sort of, it would sort of ruin our playthrough because we wouldn't be able to cover anything except Indonesia. We'll put one in Melbourne later. We'll put like our second base in Melbourne. <laughs> we don't talk about Melbourne exactly. Nothing happened in Melbourne. Don't even worry about it. Uh, I'm gonna put my base like right here, I think, kind of in Central Asia. So with a large radar, we'll be able to cover Russia, China, India, um, and part of Africa and Europe. And then we can put a second base like, well, that's a lot of overlap, isn't it? Eventually, we're going to want a base in Africa. Hmm. We can call it Basistan. Uh, yeah, that, sound, that sounds about right. All right, here we go. We're going to put it, it's going to be way over here and we can maybe get it a little bit down yeah right kind of in the like the central asia region i suppose they say that's technically china but uh well i'm not going to say anything about that so as not to get uh i don't know assassinated by a government somewhere all right welcome to base stan hey chaotic XCOM for the weekday, BB for the weekends. That is indeed the plan. Oh, we're also playing with the, the mod that lets you set up your base uh, at the start of the game so that we don't have to do the the really boring destroy everything and move your base around thing. So we just get to set up our base in a relatively defensible way right from the get-go. Uh, small radar, I think, yeah, that can go there in general stores. Living quarters, laboratory, workshop. Okay, cool. Let's dive on in. 
Put it in America and call it local McDonald's. Uh, also, by the rules of using human tech, the hover platform plasma is usable. Correct. The hover plasma tank is usable. In fact, the fusion ball tank is also usable because those aren't um, blaster bombs. Those are human invented and human built. Uh, and also, plasma beams are usable on interceptors and firestorms and avengers are still buildable, etc., etc., etc. Uh, when does this play? 1999. So it is not the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union has collapsed at this point. But let's get into the soldiers, shall we? So we have got... Hold on, I gotta... I gotta move my... I gotta move my... My doohickey so I can see everybody who's talking and everything. Alright, there we go. We got Moon Tiger. We got Chaotic Dreamer. We got... Uh... Who else was signed up? Uh, Herdalas said on Discord that he wanted to be signed up, so we got him. We got Offensive Lemon. All right, I'm gonna, gonna have to start going in order. So we got Moon Tiger. We got Chaotic Dreamer. We're gonna put in Herdalas, because like I said, he he said on Discord he wanted to be in, and he's he's been a supporter for a long time. So we got Herdalas. We got the Offensive Lemon. We got... Broken 25. Don't ask about Brokens 1 through 24. We got Sir Dong Knight. We got Oniros. And we got... We got Alex. And that is our starting allotment. Let's take a look at these guys and see who they how they are, shall we? Uh, Moon Tiger is actually really good. Uh, very low health. That's a little bit of a problem. Mediocre bravery, low strength, but very high reactions, very high firing accuracy. Moon Tiger is a sharpshooter scout. Quick refresher on the the acronyms that I tend to use in this game when I am naming fighters or naming players. Uh, G stands for Grunt. Uh, grunts are mediocre or bad at everything. Uh, you could also call them meat shields. Sharp sh SS stands for Sharpshooter. Please do not make... It's not It's not the other thing. It's Sharpshooter. Um, high, high firing accuracy. Often high time units, but not always. Basically, these are the guys who stand in the back and snipe at people. SC stands for Scout. Uh, scouts have high time units, high reactions. They're the guys who go up in front. Uh, check things out, and uh, usually get killed first. HW stands for heavy weapons. Uh, those are guys with high strength, ideally but not necessarily high firing accuracy, and also high time units and stamina. Um, they're the guys who lug around rocket launchers and autocannons and stuff and blow up everything that they see. And VET, V-E-T, or just a, like a plus, stands for veteran, which means they're good at everything and they're really good. They've just been around for a long time. Uh, you probably shouldn't name a 10 bravery dude after everyone, given those who dismiss ASAP material. Ha 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 ha! You don't know how I play this game, do you? No, no, no. The 10 bravery guys stay. Uh, Chaotic Dreamer, speaking of 10 bravery guys, uh, Chaotic Dreamer is pretty, uh, bad. Chaotic Dreamer is bad. In general. Um, but he has 39 strength, which means he is a heavy weapons, but he's like a, he's like a grunt heavy weapons. He's like kind of a... If this was Star Trek, he'd be wearing a red shirt. Put it that way. Low health means you die in one shot instead of one shot at this stage of the game. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Herdalos. Herdalos is actually also a sharpshooter. He's got 60 firing accuracy, which is not bad. Uh, it's not 67, but that's generally my cutoff for sharpshooters. Um, he's kind of right on the border. So I'm gonna... I am gonna call him a sharpshooter for now, but we'll see. He's not great. Do not give the Bravery 10 man a rocket launcher. <laughs> it's gonna happen, dude. Trust me. Uh, Offensive Lemon is a scout. He has over 50 reactions, which is generally my cutoff. Um, he's got decent time units. 57 is pretty solid. Higher than many. So that is definitely a scout right there. Broken 25 is incredibly brave and has high strength, and his firing accuracy is dog shit, which makes him the perfect man to be given a rocket launcher and to lurk around the back firing rockets past his hapless teammates. That's exactly what he's designed to do by nature and or God. Um, but of course, a merciful and loving God would never create these people in the first place. 
Uh, interested in trying any mods for this? Uh, nah, it's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Uh, Sir Dong Knight has high stamina and otherwise is mediocre in every way. Uh, does have some strength. 34 is, like, strong-ish. It's not real, like... I guess this is kind of a crappy heavy weapons guy. He's actually got really high reactions. So actually, this is like a grunt scout. Like he's not really a good scout, but he's kind of almost a scout. That's what that's what he is. Um Oniros is would be another really good character except for Bravery 10. Um Oniros is Why do my friends keep talking about crack pipes in my group chat? I don't know. I don't know what to say. Uh, so yeah, Aniros has uh, really high reactions, really high firing accuracy, uh, abysmal bravery, and is mediocre everywhere else. So Aniros is absolutely a sharpshooter and should never be brought near danger because he will panic and scream and kill everyone. But uh, beyond that, he's you know he's fine. It's fine. Trust me. It's perfect. Everything's perfect. Meanwhile, Alex, Alex is out here trying to show everybody how it's done. High time units, max bravery, high firing accuracy, max strength. I believe this is the maximum possible starting strength roll. Hey, Panda! Thanks for the donation, dude. I actually don't know what currency ARS is, but uh, I appreciate it. Alex is... Alex is like... Alex is a sharpshooter heavy weapons, and I'm going to give him a plus as well. Is that $200? I don't think that's $200. Is that $200? I don't know what ARS is. Oh, 200 Argentinian. Oh, Argentinian pesos. Okay, cool. Well, thanks, Panda. Appreciate you. All right, yeah, I'm giving Alex a plus because he's really good, and that means he's almost certainly the first to die. Uh, I'm just, I'm just being honest here. Like that's how the game goes. All right, so there we go. Okay, so that's our starting eight. Uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to buy some shit. And the first shit we need to buy is soldiers. Uh, we want... We want at least 10, but I'm actually going to go up to four, to 16. That'll give us a few extras. Uh, we also want scientists. And we want engineers, but we don't need a lot of them right now. So we'll just fill in that space with an extra soldier. We are going to want a rocket launcher tank, because I like rocket launcher tanks and some tank rockets, and that is going to use up all our storage space, at least for right now. We need to sell our Stingray launchers, all our Stingray missiles, both our cannons, our cannon rounds. Um, that should be fine for right now. Sell all that. Our interceptors. We're going to equip that interceptor with an avalanche. We're going to build. We need more general stores, desperately. Uh, we also need a large radar. And then I need to buy... Avalanche launchers and avalanche missiles. Uh, that'll be fine for right now. Place bets everyone who's gonna die. Everyone. Exactly one cent each. Interesting. Okay, I learned a new thing today. Thank you for increasing my financial education, Panda. GC, could I be a fighter jet? Sure, Gatsby, you could be a fighter jet. Can I rename? How do I rename those? There we go. Good old Gatsby. Codename Gatsby. All right, we're about ready to go. This is irritating me because it's a little bit low and I don't want it. Okay, well, it just snaps too. It, it's just a little bit low and we're all gonna have to deal with that fact. All right, here we go. Okay, we've got the heavy weapon platform. We've got the avalanche launchers. We need to finish equipping everybody with avalanches. Um, the only starting weapon for planes that's useful is avalanches. Stingrays and cannons are very bad and uh, should not be used, in my opinion. It's just not really worth trying to use them. Gatsby. <laughs> New acronym for Bravery 10 guys, cow. You want me to call you a cow? That just seems rude, man. I mean, come on, like, I'm just saying. Um, we need some... HE autocannon ammo, I'm gonna buy a second autocannon. I'm also gonna buy a second rocket launcher and a bunch of large rockets because you know how I operate. You know how this works. Uh, we need a whole bunch of electro flares. We need a whole bunch of smoke grenades and regular grenades 
and proximity grenades, and we are also going to want stun rods, because remember, in this playthrough, we're not allowed to use small launchers, so stun rods are our only method of taking prisoners. We don't have any other way to do it. Let's equip our Sky Ranger real quick. Um, we are going to put, well, the tank hasn't shown up yet, but we are going to put the auto cannon on, we're going to put the rocket launcher on. Um, we're only going to have eight soldiers to start off with, so this weapon allocation is okay. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep, we'll, we'll work on it as we, as we go. We also need to start a research project, which I almost forgot to do. We're going to start researching laser weapons immediately. It can be useful to keep the stingray for a little bit. And nah. Moo. <laughs> okay, a whole bunch more guys. We got some scientists, we got some engineers. We're doing all sorts of good stuff. We're making moves. All right, so soldiers, we're gonna we're gonna start start calling in names again. First, we're gonna put in Panda here. Hello, Panda. Next, Chazzy Burger. Next, Garsamore. Next, Lizzie Hunsaker. Or Hunsaker? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Next, Philios. And we've got Spoonlicker. Perfect. That's the perfect name for an XCOM soldier, I'll be honest. I'm going to be real. That's the best name we've had so far. Good old Lamaro. Uh, not Lamaroi. Lamaro. And that is the end of it. Alright, let's see what our stats are. See if we got anybody good in here. Panda. Uh, Panda is a born scout, born to scout, and literally nothing else. Uh, accuracy low or mediocre, strength low, health mediocre, bravery mediocre, but time units and reactions, boy howdy, Panda's got that. Chazzy Burger is uh, the same thing, but also very strong. So that's fine. Garsamore is a massive heavy weapon sniper. 68 firing accuracy, 39 strength. Very good. I might actually give him a rocket launcher and expect him not to blow someone up. I will scout and die like a pro, exactly. Lizzie is a scout. High time units, high reactions, actually decent firing accuracy, so that's solid. You got to love that combination. Philios is a, uh, so Philios's main standout trait here is that his bravery is 50. Uh, firing accuracy is decent, but not exceptional. Strength, likewise, okay-ish. Time units, good. Health, okay-ish. This is a grunt. This is, this is the mookest mook that we've seen so far. He's, he's very, very average. Sort of on the slightly high end of average. Um, ba 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 Carsomore did it again. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, so Spoonlicker has very fast reactions and nothing else going for him. So this is like, this is a, this is a grunt scout. Lamaro has high reactions and high strength. So once again, this is like a, a scout heavy weapons dude. We've definitely got some big guns on the team. Um, this firing accuracy 49 is not fantastic, but okay. So there's our first lineup. Uh, we've got four, five, we've got five sharpshooters. We got six heavy weapon guys, including one who's really quite good. Um, we got a fair passel of scouts. We've only got like a couple people who are actual trash. Uh, if you don't count the bravery 10 people who are like sort of trash, but in a different way. Send me in front, boss, exactly. All right. Um, in terms of incoming transfers, we still have our tank and the heavy weapon platform rockets coming in. Uh, we want to equip this Sky Ranger with all that various stuff. Oh, I'm also running, of course, the, um, the open XCOM thing that takes off the 80 item unit in the Sky Ranger. Um, I acknowledge that some people think that this is a little bit of a cheat because it eases up the storage situation, but I just don't feel like spending all kinds of extra time on it. Uh, hold on one second. Thank you. 
All right, sorry, I had to I had to talk to my roommate for a second. All right, where was I? Uh, yes. Uh, equipping the Sky Ranger. Uh, auto cannon, all the HE ammo. We'll take some AP ammo as well. We'll take both rocket launchers and all the rockets because God knows I love rockets. Uh, I still feel people have said that I'm wrong about this, but I still don't like heavy cannons, so I'm not gonna bring this heavy cannon. Uh, I am gonna bring the auto cannons though. Okay, when well, he's gone to answer the door, all, all I can imagine is the enemy turn screen. Oh, God. All right, there we go. We are set up. We've got seven days to another general store, 22 days to a large radar. We are researching laser weapons. They are currently unknown because we know fucking nothing. Um, I'm tempted to build another living quarters right here, but I'm going to wait for the general stores to finish and build it down there instead. Okay. Hey, research complete. Laser weapons. Perfect. Let's go research that laser pistol. Med kits? What? No, we don't we don't do med kits here. That's not how we operate. Alright, I'm going to build a living quarters right there. Excellent. And we have finished research on the laser pistol. Great, we're moving right along. So, laser pistols. Much better than regular pistols. Incredibly superior. And these are the weapons that we will be using as our main weapons throughout the game. Because we are not allowed to upgrade to heavy plasmas, which is the logical step up. Last time I did an XCOM playthrough, I stole the name through your videos. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm glad I could help. Uh, let's manufacture some laser pistols, shall we? We're going to manufacture like eight for us to use, and then we're going to start selling them. Because on this playthrough, there are no restrictions on selling things to the, like, various African warlords. And we have found our first UFO. Hey, Mewmeister, how's it going? So let's equip the Sky Ranger, shall we? We're going to put the tank on board. Uh, we do have six laser pistols, so we're going to take them. We're going to scrap all our regular pistols. We've got eight soldiers, and of the crew right now, that means we've got three sharpshooters, we've got two heavy weapons, I'm sorry, three heavy weapons, one of them is pretty bad, um, and we've got a couple of scouts. So the scouts are going to want laser pistols, um, the sharpshooters are actually going to want standard rifles, because those are much more accurate weapons, and then a couple of heavy weapons guys are going to get um, auto cannons. probably is the way we're going to do this. I didn't know Exile was sent at ancient not Jerusalem. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, let's go with our, our eight starters. Uh, we actually have two spaces available, so we'll bring Panda and Chazzy Burger as well. Uh, we've got our six laser pistols. That should be fine. We've got our auto cannons and our rocket launchers. We've got six rifles with 12 clips. And, of course, we have a tank. And let's go. All right. Landing site one, the mission. Let's blow this pop stand. Also, can I just say, you gotta love the music in this game. It's just amazing. Okay, Moon Tiger. Moon Tiger is a scout sharpshooter. Um, I'm gonna give Moon Tiger a rifle and a clip. We're gonna have a grenade. We're gonna put an electro flare on there, even though we're not using it just yet. We're also going to have a smoke in the other hand because Moon Tiger is right at the opening and is going to pop smoke as soon as the door goes down. Chaotic Dreamer is a grunt heavy weapons, which means he gets an auto cannon, And then we're going to have a... Probably not going to give him a sidearm, but we are going to go Grenade, Prox Mine, Electro Flare. Erdalos gets a rifle and Grenade flare. Smoke. Wow, that was a little bit of weird lag for some reason. Uh, prox? Can I can I take a prox? Hey, he's slightly overweight. It's good for you. It builds character. Offensive lemon is a scout, which means he goes laser pistol and prox mine. Another prox mine in the bag with a regular grenade, an electro flare, and a smoke. Uh, and stun rod in the backpack. Uh, let's drop the regular grenade. Okay, stun rod in the backpack. Broken. Heavy weapons broke. It's a rocket launcher. Loaded with, yes, a large rocket. Another rocket in there. I don't want this clip. Please don't pick that up. And we're gonna go Electro Flare Proxmine. Only two rockets for right now. 
<laughs> if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge alien weapons. Sir Dong Knight. Uh, laser pistol. Uh, we're just gonna put, we're just gonna put a stun rod right in Sir Dong Knight's hands. And then flare, grenade, smoke, prox. And yeah, he's actually got quite a bit of extra weight. So we'll go ahead and give him two proxes. Maybe we'll just, maybe we'll let him be carrying the prox. And another standard grenade as well. Oniros gets a rifle, along with the usual allotment. Alex, now Alex is a sharpshooter heavy weapons plus. So I'm not sure whether we go rocket launcher or auto cannon for this one. Um. The best of us are war criminals. We're all war criminals here. Uh, I think rocket launcher, especially because he's got 40 fatigue. So para rockets, laser pistol, uh, prox mine for self defense. Panda, laser pistol, stun rod. Nah, stun rod in the backpack. Prox mine and a smoke. Chazzy Burger gets the auto cannon. Uh, we'll give him a clip of AP just for fun. I get nah, it's too heavy. Uh, it looks like I'm out of prox mines. I should have brought more prox mines. You can improve their skills. Yes, their skills will absolutely improve over time as they fight. What do I think of the big conversion mods for XCOM? Um. Okay, so I said this on Discord earlier. I'm not a big fan of big full conversion mods in general. Um, and here we go, by the way. Uh, and the reason for that is when I'm playing a game, generally speaking, uh, I'm looking for like a specific experience from that game. And the big, big full conversion mods kind of like miss the point in that way, if that makes sense. Like, if I was looking for a different experience, I'd just be playing a different game already. Okay, so it looks like we are in the corner, which is nice. Uh, no, that's a lie. We are not in the corner. We are on the edge. That's the corner. So why couldn't I... Can I... Aren't I supposed to be able to look out the windshield? I guess not. Let's get the smoke up. Okay, some aliens walking around. That's fine. Okay, our first sectoid. Off in the trees. Good old El Muntigre is gonna hop out and give us an auto shot. Alien words. Excellent. Alien destroyed. Chaotic Dreamer will come out this way. Kind of cover in that direction. Windshields you can't look through, typical XCOM competence. <laughs> May the best war criminal win, exactly. Hair to loss, let's debark you as well. Uh, I'm not sure how far the map goes past that. Okay, one square past that, but there is We're gonna put hair loss right there. Good old offensive lemon is gonna come out this way and prepare to explore in that direction. Broken is just gonna hug the Sky Ranger. And then the rest of our miscreants are gonna move up but not quite debark yet for lack of space. Okay. All right, we got some incoming fire. Looked like that was heading for the tank, but hard to tell. Okay, there's a nice little alien right over there, and Herdalas is perfectly prepped for an aimed shot, which he misses. Oh my god, he killed someone else. 
there there was someone in the darkness over here that Herdalas just shot and killed completely blind. I take it back, Herdalas, you're amazing. The man's a legend. Uh, I don't want to try to shoot him with a rocket. I want to try to shoot him with a gun. Okay, Moon Tiger takes that one down. <laughs> Stomping's a good job, mate. Uh, let's get Offensive Lemon, Running and Weaving, uh, hmm, a little tricky to take cover, isn't it? Good luck, Offensive Lemon. When it said 95% chance to hit, it meant something, just not him, exactly. Alright, Chaotic, get down behind that wheel. Uh, we've got this tank. Let's just... let's just... yeah, let's just do that. Give us a little bit of smoke cover. Clear out this uh, little area so we can maneuver. There's a building over there, and that's the UFO. Okay, so Offensive Lemon might be about to die. Not gonna sugarcoat it here. Um, we'll send Sir Dong Knight to provide moral support. Just in case that happens. Um, broken... can join Herodolos along this hedge. Nairos, pop down that way. Alex, pop out that way. Moon Tiger, you can just stay there, that's fine. Alex, let's get you down also behind the tires. And Panda. Uh, you're gonna want we are going to want somebody to go south, but I think that's the edge of the map there. Okay, so there is a row that I'm not seeing, I don't have vision of yet. And all these fences are in the way, so we'll want to blow those up, probably. Can you just... Yeah, thank you. That was good. That was what I wanted. It's viable until the panic starts. Ah, it'll be fine. When have I ever led you wrong? Don't answer that question. That question was rhetorical. I don't want no lip out of you. Okay. Oop. 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 Lots of fire. Lots of fire. Feeling an XCOM playthrough coming on? Okay, so there's one. There's two. There's three. All right, Herod Loss, it's time to work your magic. Uh, well, okay, Herod Loss is out of magic. Herod Loss has a strictly limited amount of magic per day. Oh my god! Herd loss is out of magic, but Broken has rockets, and those are the same thing, apparently. That was three deaths. One died in there somewhere. I did unfortunately destroy a couple of corpses, but you know what? That's XCOM, baby. Last time I did a full LP, we had a 70% casualty rate. I think that's an exaggeration. I feel... Uh, I don't think that's accurate. I think you're being reductive. Uh, that was a hit, but it wasn't a kill, so... Hey, Alex. There you go. That was a kill. <laughs> Look, I'm just saying, if you destroy everything with rocket launchers, then there's never a problem, right? That's how that works. Uh, Panda, why don't you just slide down the side of the map here? See if there's, like, anything dangerous. I'm sure you'll be fine.
This is a surprising number of aliens for such an early game saucer. I don't know, that was only like, that was like what, one, two, five, six, something like that? Ah, it's fine. There, somebody took a shot over here as well, so I think there's another alien over that way. Which is a little bit distressing. Why did you stop, by the way? That worries me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Um, hmm. Fascinating. Hmm. Well, that didn't work. That worked. I, so far, so far it seems to me that uh, clearing enemies with copious and unrestricted heavy weapons fire has a 100% success rate. <laughs> yeah, that's it, Panda. Go, you go check the weed fields. There might be aliens hiding in there getting high. Hey, Justin, how's it going? Chazzy, yeah, you can stay there, Chazzy, that's fine. Chaotic, uh, yeah, why don't you follow Panda, just to see, you know, if there's anything sus going on down there. And the tank can make a hole and drive through it. Okay. There's at least a couple more. Definitely hearing UFO door doors open and close. Okay, so that takes 40 to prime and throw. So take one step back. Perfect. Okay. Nyros. Try to, can you get, yeah, you take cover. Do you think we get defeat the aliens by giving them loads of weed? I, I'm skeptical. I'm just gonna say it. I don't think the aliens are that mellow, man. I think they're just, I think they would just really harsh up the vibe around the place. There's that guy who's dead. Good job there. Um, you know, I just don't think it would be, I just don't think it would be very radical. Uh, also, there's an alien down here who's shooting at me, and I personally, I hate that. Yeah, you. Mm, you're lucky, alien. So far. But not lucky enough! Did I hear one step back? No, never. <laughs> there is an alien in Bob's weed field. They were hiding there the whole time. The rumors were true. All right, well, this is just an empty barren plain. So, yeah, they were they were absolutely hiding in the in the ganja. That's what they were here for, all right. We figured out the secret. The secret rationale for the alien invasion. Moon Tiger's like, I don't even have to move, bitch. I just sit back here and shoot. Is this going to be one of those non-existent zero casualty encounters? Don't, don't count the aliens out yet, bro. There's still a UFO. There's at least one person inside it. In fact, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do that just out of pure, unadulterated fear. Uh, hair loss... Yeah, come up that way. Broken. Get... like, there, I think. Alex. Alex, you can actually stay there, that's fine. Just reload your rocket launcher. And, uh, yeah, you have 39 reactions, so you're pretty safe. Alright, so here's how this is gonna go. We're gonna prime. 
It take, now takes 14 to throw. We're gonna throw, right? Uh, hmm. We're gonna throw. I can't th God damn it, why not? You motherfuckers. Prime. Okay, now it takes 12 to throw. Throw. Motherfucker. What is happening here? I'm so mad. I frankly find this upsetting. <laughs> An anti-grenade hedge. Yeah, it's, it's alien tech, all right. We definitely aren't allowed to use hedges. They're brokenly overpowered. All right, so yeah, we set that barn on fire, which is the right and true nature of things. Uh, buildings are, as everyone knows, the enemy. Buildings and trees, the two great enemies of mankind. All right. Throw that right there. Go back around the corner. Uh, if and when that goes off, it will level this hedge, and so anyone who's standing directly behind the hedge will be at least exposed and possibly wounded. But we've got that now. We'll finish sweeping the rest of the map just for fun. Where's my tank gone? There it is. Can I also just say that after all these years, I still, like, have a certain childlike glee every time I see the explosions in UFO defense that are actually just flaming skulls. They're great. The flaming skull explosions are one of my favorite parts of this game. Okay. Gonna explode? You gonna explode? No. Okay, they're not coming out. They're chicken. Just why you crouched me right there. <laughs> no, no, look, look, it's 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 anyone who's directly see, look, this thing, this bomb right here, there's the reason okay, the reason I threw it in that particular square, two steps away from the, the door, is because it has a detection radius of nine around it, right? So if you throw it next to the door, it'll go off when the alien walks up on the other side of the door, and then the wall will block the explosion and they'll be fine. So you have to throw it out here. They come out and they step onto that, this space, right in front of the door, then it blows up, it'll take out everything around it for, I think, two squares, which will just include this hedge. But it won't destroy the tree. So, like, you might die if the alien lives and then auto-fires plasma into your face, but, you know, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. You'll be fine. Trust me, would I lie to you about you being fine in XCOM? Never. I would never lie to you about something like that. What if the alien never comes out? The alien will eventually come out. Um, so the way this game works is, for a second there, I thought I had launched Offensive Lemon into the, the radius of that Prox mine, and I was horrified and terrified for his life, but I did not, I'm not quite that stupid. So the way XCOM works is, after 20 rounds, if the aliens haven't found you yet, they automatically find your location, They're, you're revealed to them, and then they come out to try and hurt you. So, you just if you just wait that long, the aliens will start attacking you. No matter what else is going on in their lives. Prefer to think I'd die from snapshotting back and hitting the tree with an HE shell. That's also possible. Hey, Sectoid Soldier is panicked. Okay, so if it's panicked, that means it's dropped its gun. And that means... Uh, I've primed that proximity grenade. Okay, well. So, here's the other thing you can do, right? The other thing you can do is... You blow the prox mine up with a regular grenade. And then you can go in. Okay, but that guy shouldn't have any weapons left. Because he's panicked, which means he's dropped his gun. So we should now be able to just... Yeah, see, like, that was what I was anticipating happening. Uh, 
Okay, we should be able to breach at this point. I'm not gonna breach with Offensive Lemon because he's still holding a primed proximity mine, and that's like a huge problem for uh, breaching. Because if he dies, then he drops a primed proximity mine where he died, and uh, it's kind of tight quarters inside a UFO. So if that happens, then everyone is just trapped forever. Do we have stun rods? Uh, yeah, we do actually have stun rods, so we could, if we wanted, just, just bludgeon him sadistically to death. Um, I don't really want to send in Chazzy either, because Chazzy is using the auto cannon. So, Lemon, here, just put that... I think... Oh god. I'm trying to remember the, the exact nature of the glitches of the mechanics in this game surrounding proximity grenades. And I'm not entirely sure if it will explode when I put it in my belt. I don't think so. I don't think it'll explode if I put it in my belt. But just in case, I'm actually just gonna fucking yeet it over there where it's out of the way. That seems safer. Ah, uh, you're right, I don't have alien containment. You're right, you're right. There's no point, there's no point stun rotting this alien because we don't have anywhere to put his sorry carcass. How could you yeet it over the UFO but the hedge was too much? Um, look dude, I don't make the rules. Hedges are the enemy, remember? That's why. All right. All right, we've got our elite three-man commando team going in. We're given values of elite and commando and indeed team. Uh, hmm, there's two of them. That's a problem. Uh, yep, go down. Thank you. Goodbye. Uh, hello? Uh, the fuck? Uh, well. Uh, there's more than two of them. There sure are a lot of aliens here. Okay, that one's unarmed. Uh. Yeah, I, no, no. Face the alien. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Hmm. Fascinating. Alright. Well. So there's one alien still at large. At least. Minimum of one. There's one alien at large. All right. <laughs> All right, Nicole, and good night. Ah, uh, we were close. We were close to the mythical zero casual. Hi. We were close to the mythical zero casualty run. Alas. Still, hey, 10 aliens for one XCOM operative, I'll take those odds. You know what? It's fine. Uh, we recovered some artifacts, we got the Illyrium, we got the power source, yada yada yada. We lost Lemon, and you know, that smarts. It stings me right in my, my horrible black soul, but uh, still, uh, uh, god, plus four accuracy for Moon Tiger? Never mind. It was super worth it. I, I take it all back. Offensive Lemonade. Yeah, your death was not in vain. Um, also, tons of plus strength. My god, plus five for Herod. Why did Herod Loss get plus five strength? I think he just he fired that one shot into the blackness that was so incredibly amazing he just spontaneously grew biceps. He didn't get any plus accuracy for that. Please note. He just got plus 5 strength and plus 3 HP. 
It's like, acing that shot didn't make him better at shooting, he just spontaneously grew 5 o'clock shadow and his biceps, like, increased in size by 2 inches. Perfect. Nobody got bravery. Nah, nobody got bravery. Ah, but Moon Tiger and Alex were promoted to sergeant. He really used his muscles to throw the bullet that far. Yes, and uh, unfortunately, the offensive lemon was killed. Rip. Rip Lemon, you were extremely offensive. Uh, we're just gonna go right ahead and sell uh, the plasma rifles and the plasma pistols. Uh, we can, so we can still do research on plasma weapons because we can still make plasma beams. So I guess I'm gonna keep one like plasma pistol to research. Uh, we're gonna sell the stun launcher and the stun bombs and the mine probes and all but one of the bodies. Too swole to control. <laughs> because of all the high fives he did after that shot, exactly. Hey, Justin, thanks for the five dollars. When GC says, ah, hi, shit's about to hit the fan. Exactly. You know me so very, very well. Three kills and you don't get promoted. You know what, Broken? Uh, the council decided that your kills don't count. Uh, because I guess rockets are cheating. I can only assume that's what happened. Let's get some more replacement rockets. Hey, get some more HE ammo just because. Uh, get some more smoke grenades. And ah, I left 14 grenades behind. That's why I ran out. Some more prox mines and some more electro flares just because. Okay. Make sure to equip the Sky Ranger with all our goodies. Auto cannons, HE ammo, more rockets, more grenades, another laser pistol, more various bombs. All right, and production of laser pistols is complete. Uh, we're gonna start just selling laser pistols. Um, it'll make us money per month, and that's kind of what you want to do. And we got some more heavy weapon platform rockets. And aliens are terrorizing Casablanca. A new development at this time. Can I be part of Team Coach? Are we playing on Superhuman? Yes, we are indeed playing on Superhuman. It's the only way to play. Okay, so let's... Uh, we're going to take one of our sergeants. Uh, I'll take Alex. We're going to take... We're going to drop the squaddies. In exchange for our other rookies. And then I guess we'll take, um, we'll take one squatty with us. We'll take, uh, let's take Chazzy with us. So that's 14, counting the tank. We've got all our various equipment, including eight laser pistols. We do still have several rifles on the team, which is going to fucking suck for a terror mission. But we've got our rocket launchers, and, and we have our faith in, in the skill and strength of humanity. And uh, we'll just see how things uh, go, you know? It'll, it'll, be, it'll be an experience, possibly a learning experience. We'll figure it out. If it's sectoids, are you going to find it out? <laughs> no. Uh, if it's sectoids, I'll see if I can get some easy kills, and then I'll probably fucking book it. It was nice knowing you all for this very short time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Terror Site 1, let's go. Are you ready, kids? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a good time. Okay, sorry, I was jamming out to the, uh, the Terror Mission music for a minute there. Okay, Lamar, so... Chaotic Dreamer already has, still has the auto cannon. Um, that's fine. We're gonna give everybody some smoke for this mission. Lamaro is gonna get. Well, okay. Let me look at my my heavy weapon options. Garsamore is gonna get the rocket launcher because he's very accurate, and that's important. He's also gonna get a laser pistol as sidearm. Lizzie gets a laser pistol. 
and Proxmine, a uh, stun rod. If okay, if this is a sectoid mission, and if we decide to play it out, which is a couple of real big ifs, stun rods will be vital because the only reason to play this mission out will be to try to capture a sectoid leader alive, early, early on. Um, is it going to happen? Uh, no. If this is a sectoid mission, like I said, we probably just fucking book it immediately. But, but, if we decide to stay and fight it out, it will be for that reason. So, we're passing out the stun rods, just in case. Uh, spoon liquor, here, have a, have a, a, a rifle, I guess. Lamaro definitely does get a rifle, as well as a stun rod. Um, also, Lamaro is... Yeah, Lamaro is heavy weapons, so we're gonna load Lamaro up with several grenades. Uh, and actually, instead of that stun rod, we're gonna give you a spare rocket to, uh, to throw to the other heavy weapon guys if they start to run short. Panda, Alex, Nairos, Chaotic, Lamaro. Uh, Lamaro, put a stun rod in your pocket. Chazzy, you're fine. Panda, okay. I think that's good. Give three quarters of the team autocans with HE and just blast in every direction. It's a via. It is a legitimate strategy. Uh, chaotic, white, yeah. Just put here, please. Please do this. Thank you. One, two, three, four. Okay. Four civilians murdered on round one. Hey, it's floaters! Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. That means we might actually be able to win this. Uh, what does a snapshot take? 31? Okay, well... Let's just get rid of him right away. All right. No line of fire. All right. Well, that's two direct hits and no kill, so that's really uh, unfortunate. And it's a big reason why rifles suck. God, that guy was tough and he's not even dead. Uh, this man is a problem. And a danger, and also definitely a menace. I would like... Auto shot is 22. I would like to be able to rake him with explosive autocannon rounds. I'm not sure I'll have the time units. I think actually I will. I will have the time units. Hmm, but not the accuracy. How? That's problematic. That's an issue. Uh, snapshot is 25 with a rocket launcher. Hey, Don Knight, thanks for the five bucks, dude. Appreciate ya. Okay, uh, so, yeah, I need 25 for a snapshot with the rocket launcher. That's not gonna happen. So Alex is just gonna run this way, where he'll be kind of in cover. Uh, Chazzy. I can try with the autocannon again. 24. Oh god, there's another one. Ah, shit, they're everywhere. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, jeez. 
Ah, oh, jeez. If anyone's wondering why I'm targeting the ground, it's because if you target the alien and you miss to the sides, um, the shot will just tend to cruise on by and explode somewhere way down here. If you target the ground, the shot moves on a downward trajectory aiming to intersect the ground at that point. So even if you miss a little bit to the side or forward or backward, it will still hit somewhere around and catch the alien in the splash. Um, that's why you do that. Uh, Chazzy Burger, odds of death, high. I would say, oh my god, there's a reaper right there. What the fuck is happening? We are all going to die. The reaper, the reaper, okay, the reaper I actually have a solution for. That solution is called a rocket. Oh, I don't have enough time units to rocket it. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Well, uh, hmm. This is an issue. Um. Okay. Mm, mm, All right. Uh, let me. Mm, how about I? What if we? Well. Uh, let me think about this one for a second. Uh, so my plan for dealing with the Reaper is to, uh, hope it suffers a brain aneurysm, which happens pretty regularly, and doesn't actually come eat anyone. Uh, odds of that happening? I don't know, 50%? Something like that? Fairly high? This guy might be injured, because he's been in the splash of several explosions, so, uh, my plan for him consists of hoping that he's now very inaccurate on account of being wounded, and so misses all of his shots. Uh, my plan for this guy is to hope that he doesn't know we're here, uh, because we haven't shot at him yet, and so he might not have line of sight or be aware that we exist. Uh, beyond that, I think everyone who's currently on the ground has, like, a mild to moderate chance of being just absolutely fucked. Um, so... We'll just see, uh, what happens. Because, like, I'm looking at this and I'm going, well, I could bring Philios down and get, like, one auto shot on somebody, and it's possible that would kill someone. Uh, but it's also possible it would not. Like, he's at 35. Step, step down. That's 31. Uh, I might bring Philios down to take one auto shot, but the problem is... Okay, so, so here's the thing, right? All these guys are fucked if Joe Blow down here decides to walk up to the corner and throw a grenade. Or if he decides to throw a grenade. And in one sense, I think it might be worth the risk of, of exposing someone else to shoot him in order to lower the chances of alien grenades destroying the world. But on the other hand, I think the odds of actually killing him are not great. So, uh, salutations, and farewell. Okay, well, there goes Panda. Alex seems to have absorbed a plasma bolt with his face. Oh, thank God, he's so murderous. Didn't make it. Didn't quite make it. Alex, how's your face? Uh, shockingly uninjured. Horrif- horrifyingly un- wow, that's amazing. Uh, Alex, you're a legend, you're a trooper, Aniros, you're about to get eaten, bro. You need to do something, and fast. Uh, also, there's, uh, uh, hmm. Well, I know how to solve this problem. Alright, Chazzy Burger out here laying down the law. Um, there seems to be, so, yeah, there's an alien right there. And I think there's also an alien down there somewhere.
Good job, Chaotic. Love it. Like it. Love it. Gotta have it. Okay, we need to deal with this guy. Um... Uh... Yeah. Aniros, try rifle fire. Rifle fire has no effect, and also, uh, the alien got mad and ate his face. So, that's a thing we know now. Great. We learned something new today. Um, okay, so, so how about, how about this strategy then? Um, cause Alex can take a shot at him with a rocket launcher. We just have to make sure that everyone else is far enough away to not instantly die. When that, uh, happens. Oh my god, there's another one. Oh, they're everywhere. Why are they everywhere? Nope. Prime it. Now throw it. Uh, yeah, I, I honestly, so I honestly was not aware that, uh, this thing would be able to reaction fire with its bite. Uh, I definitely learned a new thing today. I should have taken one step back before I started shooting. That was, uh, that was completely new to me, and it's kind of cool. Uh, also, horrifying. I hate it. Thanks. Okay, tank. I actually don't know why I did that, because I, I should have just had the tank shoot him, because he might be able to run through a prox mine. It's totally possible he can do that. Uh, I really would like to kill this guy. So, I feel like I should do that. That's actually not going to kill him, though, because it will hit that thing. I need a little bit of... Oh my god, there's another one. What the fuck is happening? They are everywhere. Okay, I don't think this will kill any of my own people. Okay, good. I was right. It did not kill any of my own people. Actually, I was wrong. I underestimated the blast radius a little bit, so... Lizzie Hunsucker is now bleeding out and has six rounds to live. So, uh, sorry about that, Lizzie. Um, yeah, that was a little bit... that was a little wider than I thought it would be. The, ah, I see why. It's because the blast is not centered where I aimed. I aimed right here. But the blast appears to actually be centered up here, so it was closer than it should have been. And that's why you were on the edge of it. So, my apologies. <laughs> Fuck those aliens. A classic case of shrapnel to the kidney. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so, uh, let's take a look at the mini-map, shall we? Um, chaos, devastation, anarchy, and destruction in all directions. Uh, that's basically what we've got. We've got a dead alien over there, so that's one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, I think there was another one. Uh, we've lost two so far, plus Lizzie is bleeding to death. Uh, overall, a positive exchange rate, to my shock and amazement. I thought you were standing up. Um, so at this point... Yeah, at this point, the question becomes whether we, uh, try to run? Just, just withdraw with what we've got? Or if we push out and... Oh, that's a mailbox. There was a red dot. Wait. Yeah, there was a red dot, and I was like, what is this red dot? And it turns out it's a red mailbox. Red mailbox. So that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, so it's like... Do we leave and save Lizzie's life, or do we stick it out and try to save Casablanca? Or at least one of Casablanca's scuzzier industrial districts, which is where it looks like we are. Um, I'm not sure.
We have killed several of the aliens, it's true. We currently have a significantly positive KD. Which is good. If we left, it would still be negative points, but it wouldn't be like traumatically, horrifically negative points. Oh, fucking cr- are, are you serious? Really? Really? You're just standing there like an asshole, looking the other way, pretending you don't see us? You piece of shit. You are the worst. The worst kind of being. I'm gonna shoot you through this window if I possibly can. Can I shoot him through the window? Can I move Spoon Lick? I can't move Spoon Licker out of the way. This is gonna be bad. I cannot shoot him through the window. The wall is blocking my shot. Fuck. That wasn't the button I meant to press, but fine. That You might as well crouch. Uh, yeah, just move up there and then crouch. Alright, let's... So, this guy is gonna turn the corner and 420 blaze it with his plasma pistol, I bet. Alright, let's see what happens. Yep, here he comes. The tank is performing its role. Its role is ablative shielding. Oh, hey, this guy woke up. That's nice. Um, Alex continues to be invincible. Spoon licker, you you need to you need to spend less time licking spoons and more time uh, shooting guns. Frankly. Okay, so that guy's awake. There's an alien down there. There's also a reaper over there. The reaper over there... We can handle. In the time-honored traditional XCOM fashion. This guy needs shooting. And so does this guy. But I really don't want Chazzy Burger shooting him with an autocannon. Uh, Spoon Licker, please run. Lizzie, uh, you have single-digit accuracy, but so, yeah, that's a thing that's happening. Okay, that's good. That's good. And that's good. That is a Reaper, so that's not great. Uh, but it's also not terrible because Reapers are not super dangerous. <laughs> Feeling a little bit safer except the part where my vital organs... Look, Lizzie, you've got ten hit points. That's a whole five turn. Look, I'll even... You know what? I'm even gonna just put you back in the Sky Ranger. See? Nice and safe. Nothing bad can happen to you here, as long as we leave in time to prevent you from bleeding to death on the floor. Which is not guaranteed. How many casualties? I don't know, a number. You'll find out. You know, I think people really just get too negative, you know? They just get, they get focused on things like casualty counts and uh, collateral damage and the, the crippling financial cost of destroying Casablanca. And really, I just think that's very, you know, it's not very, I don't know. It doesn't feel very hip. 
it's just not it's just not cool that's the way I feel about it all I'm saying is sometimes you've got to crack a few city blocks to make an alien omelet you know it's a dangerous job and sometimes people get hurt Oh my god, there's so many dogs. Why are there so m Oh my, there are so many reapers. Why are there so many reapers? Why no med kits? Med kits cost money, rookies don't. I mean, get I mean technically rookies cost money, but it's not like a lot of money. Um all right, where did that So there was a shot that came from down here that was aimed at Lamaro. Uh you're just going to you're just going to Just, well, that wasn't super helpful. All right. <laughs> I just wish I had more explosives, is what I'm saying here, because currently I'm... This is a problem. Okay. Okay, there's the floater who's trying to shoot me. So, Lamaro, take... Uh, that is too narrow a channel to safely fire a snapshot from a rocket launcher with 37% accuracy, so I can't do that. Which is a big problem, because I really need to kill these guys. And killing them with rifles is incredibly inefficient. And I don't have enough time units for a proximity grenade. Whew, baby. This guy's gonna be a problem. This, this one needs to die. And the problem is, he's got... Yeah, I don't have shots at him. Nineteen. Thirty-eight. Fourteen. Nice! Lamaro shooting an alien out of the air like it ain't no thang. Very, very cool of him. Cool and good, I would say. Uh, Chaotic Dreamer, could you potentially get a shot? I don't think so. Uh, well, maybe. Can you... Can you get a... Felios can go over there, maybe? If we get Felios over there, we got Chazzy Burger with two rounds in the old... the old auto cannon, Which is certainly better than nothing. Wow. Hmm. Chazzy. Uh, that was bad. I wish you hadn't done that. Excellent. Okay, good. You shot the tank, but I'll forgive you. That's fine. The tank is- the tank's pretty tough. The tank can take it. Okay, good. So, there we go. The stream's thumbnail is Battle Bros. That's why I put- don't worry about it. In fact, let me see. Can I edit that? Can I can I edit the the picture still? I can edit the picture still. Hold on, hold on one second. Hang on, hang on a second. I'm gonna fix it. It's gonna be all fixed. It's gonna be better. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. I promise. Uh, well, it looks like I don't have the right. XCOM picture downloaded, so I'm just gonna do the, like, the title splash one with all the rules on it, and we'll do a real one next time. That's fine. <laughs> Don't ever achieve greatness by playing it safe, I beg to differ. <laughs> that's not, that's not correct. 
fixing the pick while Lizzie bleeds all over the Sky Ranger. Lizzie can damn well hold it. Look, she's got eight hit points still. That's a full four rounds before she actually dies. We don't give sick time for nearly dying in this outfit. If you want a note to not come to work in XCOM, you have to be able to show me actual internal organs. If someone wants to make me a, a, a shitty thumbnail featuring Battle Brothers but with XCOM weapons crudely photoshopped into their hands, I will absolutely use it, I promise. Just ask Nasogen, who used to make shitty Photoshop uh, thumbnails for my my uh, Dominion's Five games. I used those all the time. I love that kind of thing. The Battle Brothers thumbnail, but they all have Guile haircuts. Perfect. All right. Okay. I think that's yeah. I think that's good. That's everyone. That's fine. Everything's fine. Hey, Floater Engineer has panicked. Perfect. We might actually finish this before, uh, before Lizzie bleeds to death. I mean, of course we're gonna do this before Lizzie bleeds to death. I never had a doubt. Wow, tank, come on. I really expected you here. Just sit in that shop and think about what you've done. Or rather, what you failed to do. Let's reload the old autocannon. All right, where is this sectoid engineer? Hello, citizen, have you seen a sectoid engineer around here somewhere? Oh god, we've got so much of the map still to explore. Ah, shit. Welp. I'm gonna take cover behind this box. I mean that cash register. Jeez, his insurance plan only pays for leeches. Uh, excuse me, what do you mean insurance? That sounds suspiciously communist of you. Auto shot 24. I can only get one auto shot anyway, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna march forward and then spray fire wildly. Die! Chazzy has got something against this tank. He really does. I don't know what happened between Chazzy and the tank. But I think it was ugly. I'm getting the impression there's like a messy breakup or something in their past because... Ooh, baby, every time he gets a chance. Chaotic too. Jesus Christ. I don't know who's operating this tank, but they did something really ugly to their co-workers. And I'm not sure I approve. I mean... You know? You know what I'm saying? There we go. Tired of him taking all the credit. All right, Lizzie, you still got six health. You'll be fine. What's the max number of aliens? I don't know. On on terror missions, I think it's upwards of 20. It's a lot. You can have a, a horrifying number of aliens if you're not lucky. Okay, Alex. Um... Alex, so there's a guy alive over here, which tells me there's probably no aliens in this shop. Which is good, because this shop has a second floor. And the idea of having to search that in three turns really, really sucks. But yeah, there's two living people in here. So there's definitely no aliens. I'll just casually use that civilian as a blade of shielding for a minute. Don't expect me to be nice to the rest of the outfit when I don't even get a name tag for piling the tank. Look, look. All I'm saying is... There's a fuck... There's fucking another one. There are so many Reapers on this map. It is ridiculous. Um, so... Cutting it a little fine... For, uh, Lizzie... But at this point, we're too far away to get back and get everybody out before she bleeds to death anyway. So, really, the only hope is uh, finishing the fight either this turn or next turn. Uh, so, sorry about that, Lizzie. I I'd like to apologize in advance in case you die of internal bleeding. 
You know, I tried my best. Are we gonna need to start cannibalizing our dead for ammunition? No, we're fine. There's not that- there shouldn't be that many aliens left. We should be okay. Like I said, the main consideration right now is can we actually find these last aliens before Lizzie dies in two turns. Not only do I probably bleed out, I get to bleed out all alone on a cold floor. Um, I mean, I'm not saying that exactly, but yes. Uh, but, uh, in, in my defense, it's for the good of humanity. And you should be proud to share such a heroic death. Your widow will get a discount coupon. <laughs> oh god, we're monsters, aren't we? Yep, pretty much, pretty much. I think he's over here. Because that's like the big area that I haven't checked yet. Protect yourself from plasma beams with a shirt on your back. I, look, I'm just, you know... Armor costs money. You know, armor. a suit of armor costs, I think, $40,000. But, um, I, I really should have sent Lizzie out to hunt for the alien, to be honest. Um, but a, a new rookie only costs $20,000. Oh, there's at least three more. Oh, there's at least four more of them. Okay, yeah, Lizzie's dead. Uh, that's a shame. Ah, oh, that's too bad. There's, cause, an engineer panicked earlier, and now a medic and a navigator have panicked. Hmm, that's, that's too bad. Well... Well, they're not all panicking. There's at least one who still has a gun. And it seemed like they might be on the third floor of this giant warehouse. And they're floaters, which means they can walk off the roof if they want to. So, actually, it's still completely possible that we lose this unless we're careful. And, uh... Yeah. Yeah. That's happening, so... But I, I'm pretty sure they're all in that warehouse. Um, and I think they're all basically freaking out. Yeah, so there's one who's dropped their weapon. Because they're so scared of the spooky, spooky humans. Now Lizzie's not freaking out. Lizzie is accepting her death with the the stoic determination that we expect of our elite XCOM operatives. That's our story and we're sticking to it. And uh, no one will ever contradict that story, at least not in public, at least not if they want their pensions. Uh, hi, Rendo. Damn, Alex. Uh, hi, other Frendo. Well, at least they don't have guns. They're just kind of floating around, chilling out. <laughs> XCOM needs a mod where you have to pay a pension to the family of dead soldiers. I don't know about that, bro. I don't know about that one. I think you're stretching a little bit. Alright, uh, I don't think I can get close enough to shoot that guy. Alright, goodbye, Lizzie. 
Uh, he threw a grenade. He threw a grenade. Oh, fuck. He threw a grenade. Bad, bad, bad. Uh, well, okay. Uh, that was less than ideal. I told you Alex was going down. Did I not tell you that that was going to happen? Did I not tell you? Hello, friend. Okay, that's a kill. Where'd the one go who was freaking out down over here? Okay, there's one in the warehouse. There's the dropped gun. Even though it was kind of his fault, you died anyway. No, 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 no. Don't, uh, don't, don't, don't excuse this. It was 100% his fault you died. No line of fire because of the door. Well. Oh, there's another one. Uh, that's, well, that's a problem. Uh, spoon liquor, good luck. Can I get in, uh, undercover somewhere? I can get over here. Okay, so we got that guy. And we got that guy, so that's at least two. Chaotic. Still has two rounds in the auto cannon. Can he? Well, that didn't destroy those boxes like I was hoping it would. I really wanted those boxes to be destroyed. Um, Garsamore, why don't you go over... This way... Yes. Okay. And Philios is still back here, still helping, still hanging out. Having a chill time. Great. He's still got a gun. That one's still got a gun, but fortunately he's more interested in moving than shooting. Which gives good old Spoon Licker the time to nail him. Um, now, where did this alien go? He is there. Stop shooting through the door, please. Shoot the alien. I think he's out of weapons. Third time's the charm on getting shot in the face with plasma. Yeah, basically. You know, charm. For a given value of charm, you need 12 points for an auto shot. Here, just... No, don't throw the gun. Fire the gun! Well, that's not very helpful either, to be truthful. Alright, I think that one's the last survivor. And I think he's out of weapons. I think we've killed all his friends, and all his pets, and just left him floating around, sad and hopeless, in this cruel world. Surrounded by flames and the sm stench of burning flesh. So, that's really good. Um, the problem is, he might still have a grenade in his pants. And, or, well, his, his flotation unit. Floaters don't have pants, they just have an anti-gravity affixment. Uh, I really hope he doesn't, because someone, if he does, someone's about to get grenaded again. Nope, looks like he's totally disarmed. Alright. Hey, fucko. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. Right up the grundle. Oh god damn it, he wasn't the last one. There's another one somewhere. Fuck. Can you post an immature link in the chat? Yeah, that's fine. 
All right, where are you at, you bastard? Where are you at? Where's the last some bitch? Uh oh, hi. Where did you come from? And why and how? Are you just are you just chasing these two guys around like for fun? Like what's going on here? This this seems weird. Hey, hey, come here. Come here, you. Yeah, you. Uh... That was a warning shot. I can't get the tank down there because Philios is in the way. Shit, he can't go through the... Well, okay. Uh, Chazzy doesn't have a gun that isn't a high-explosive machine gun, so that might cause a little bit of collateral. I don't really want to be firing that here. Well, I can come down this way, and just like... Uh, that's fine. You know what? That's fine. That's not even a problem. I'll, I'll take it. The last one is a face hugger. All right, so 22 aliens killed. That's pretty high, not the absolute highest I've seen. Um, look, I didn't. It doesn't even register that I killed any civilians. So that last guy must have lived. <laughs> that guy is suing XCOM. He didn't die. We must finish off the civ. Exactly. <laughs> uh, but four XCOM operatives were killed. We saved three civilians, which is actually incredible. Um, yeah, good mission. Good mission. Positive score. Perfect. Everyone who lived got plus accuracy except Lamaro, who for some reason got plus seven stamina. I don't know why he got seven stamina, but all right. But where's the stat for civilians killed by XCOM? It's right here. Civilians killed by XCOM. None. See, it doesn't exist. The line isn't around. That means we didn't kill any. Perfect. Okay. Uh, Chassis Burger was promoted to sergeant. And we lost Oniros, Alex. Alex was by far the worst loss. Panda and Lizzie. Uh, Oniros was eaten point blank by trying to fire his rifle to defend himself. Alex was shot three times in the face and the third one finally got him. Actually, no, he was shot twice and then he was grenaded. That was what really got him. Uh, Panda was... Panda, I think, was just shot with plasma through the window while he was hiding. And then Lizzie, of course, was shot and then uh, was caught by shrapnel from a rocket explosion fired by Alex and then slowly bled to death in the, uh, in the Sky Ranger over the course of several turns. But you know what? That was a good one. That was a, that was a good mission. Feel good about that one. Take ten. Take five. Uh, I'm gonna sell all these pistols, because fuck them. I'm gonna sell these heavy cannons, because fuck them. I'm gonna sell this, uh, plasma rifle. All of these pistols except for one, and one clip in case I have to research it. And I'm gonna sell that alien grenade, I'm gonna sell all these floater corpses except one, all these reaper corpses except one. There we go. Well over a million dollars. Uh, let's go ahead, so we actually have quite a lot of money, because we're selling all this shit. Uh, let's go ahead and hire some more soldiers. Just, you know, just for fun. Just because it seems like a good idea. And then we still have $4 million, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and build a second base. Like, there's no reason not to. I could just build a second base here in... Let me see. Where can I get maximal coverage with minimal overlap? See, that can cover... Yeah, Central Africa. You want to be a cannon meat? <laughs> That's probably a good place for a base, to be honest, because we've pretty much got the Eurasian continent, like the Asian continent and, and Russia covered. We can put a base right down here in Africa, and with a large radar, we'll be able to cover basically all of Africa plus most of Europe. Yeah, North Africa right there. Okay, we can call it Pride Rock. That's fine. 
nice rainbow colored flag with a mountain on the front. Put the access lift over there. And we're going to build, let's get a hangar and a large radar installed. That'll be fine. Sign me up as the colossal fetish. Okay. All right. Excellent. Good job, team. Just remember, there is no I in team, but there are bodies. And by bodies, I mean dead people. <laughs> All right, Chazzy, good night. Okay, uh, some people are joining. We have got Nijin Onewa. Uh, that didn't, that's an A, hold on. We've got Nijin. We have got Mewmeister. We have got Oscar. Abarzua. Or however you pronounce that. I pronounced it badly, I'm sure. And we've got Urochi. Good to see you, dude. And final, I think this is finally. We have uh we have Stev. Good old Stev. Everybody loves Stev. Let's see how how good people are. Uh Stev is actually pretty good. Low health, but very high time units, very high firing accuracy, and decent strength. Stev's not bad. Urochi is a scout, kinda low time units, but definitely a scout. High bravery too. Oscar is a... Wow, Oscar's kind of everything. Oscar's got max bravery, high time units, high reactions, okay firing accuracy, pretty good, and high strength. Um, I'm not sure how to categorize this. Yeah, Robin, no, I, I know what Pride Rock is. I was making a dumb joke, that's all. Um... <laughs> I'm just gonna label Oscar, like, Scout Heavy Weapons, I guess, because he's not quite a sharpshooter. Uh, Mewmeister is a sharpshooter, and is a sharpshooter heavy weapons guy with that high strength. Nejin is a mook. Okay, here we go, we got our, ne got our new five. Sturdy Hydrangean stock. <laughs> Oscar is doomed. Yeah, well, you know, like, that's just your opinion, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I really wish laser rifles would be researched soon. Hey, laser rifles are researched. Is there a sign-up sheet? No, I just call out name. I just call for names when I'm recruiting more people and people sign up. All right, laser rifles. Laser rifles are going to be our primary squad sidearm for the entire game. Um, remember, we're not allowed to use plasma rifles or heavy plasmas. So laser rifles are basically gonna be what most people are using for the extent of the game. Now, fortunately, laser rifles are really, really good. Um, laser beam damage of 60 is high enough to hurt pretty much all aliens. Uh, the accuracy is actually extremely good compared to the time unit cost. Um, the laser rifle in base uh, XCOM UFO defense is used throughout the entire game, and in fact, it's often used as a sniper weapon, up until you have a whole bunch of heavy plasmas. Now, we won't be using heavy plasmas, and we do have access to heavy lasers, which are, given the modification we're using, a better sniper option than laser rifles, but these are going to be our standard squad weapon. Um, we have plenty of research potential goals. We're going to take some time to get the medikit now. Um, after that, we'll research alien alloys and armor, and then I think we'll get heavy lasers. So we're gonna stop producing laser pistols for a minute, and we're gonna start producing laser rifles. And we're gonna need, like, a bunch. I'm gonna start with 10. Uh, the only problem with that is it will cost us quite a bit of money, but that's okay. All right, and we've got our large radar at basis stand. We can also go ahead and build, um, 
an alien containment right there. And then we can also build stuff in this row, so long as we don't touch. The goal of this whole construction is to make it so there's only one direction the aliens have to funnel in order to get to us. So we can also build uh, a... We're gonna need more living quarters, laboratories, workshops, and general stores uh, sooner rather than later. Let's go ahead and put down another lab because that's probably gonna be our first priority. Would it be worth fast-tracking containment? Yeah, I'm working on a containment. Okay, now we have living quarters, which means we can recruit uh, some more scientists and some more engineers. Can we make 15 scientists? That should, uh, well, I think we're gonna run out of money before the end of the month if we do that. So we'll go 10 and 10. And we'll set 30 scientists on medikits. And we'll set 25 engineers on laser rifles. Should be done in about four days. Make me medic and rename me Dr. Phil. <laughs> Does this mod still have the paying for dirt bug? No, uh, that was fixed in OpenXCOM. A while back, I believe. Okay, so the first month, and guess what? They love us. They love us. We saved parts of a city. Uh... Everything that was burned down, we bland managed to blame on the aliens. We killed a lot more aliens than we've lost, so everyone's happy. Russia, the UK, France, Brazil, Nigeria, for some reason, South Africa, and Canada. I haven't even done anything in Canada. I don't think anyone in the project has even set foot in Canada. But you know what? They're happy with us anyway. So, we've got some more money. Love to see it. You just love to see it. I am going to celebrate by spending some of that money on five more soldiers as well as more engineers and scientists because I desperately want more engineers and scientists. <laughs> like, I we dodged a lawsuit? Yes, exactly. Uh, I think the men in black came by and just killed that guy before he could complain. Uh, okay. Let's, let's shoot this guy down, shall we? Send out Gatsby. Gatsby, get him. Sick him, boy. Oh, he landed. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's intercept him then. But first, let's get rid of these shitty, awful, no good, very bad rifles and equip laser rifles instead. Huge step up. More damage, more accurate, faster to fire, no ammo limitation, just generally so much, so much better. Uh, still doing okay on consumables. I am going to go ahead and buy some more clips and some more rockets, just for fun. What is the fuel in UFOs called again? It is called Illyrium. Can I flex my bribery status in this stream as well? <laughs> sure, Skits. We'll, 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 uh, we'll get you in there. Oh, also, I need to get, uh, I need to get Justin Time and Sir Dong Knight in there, because they paid me money. I absolutely, I also need to actually equip my craft with soldiers, because right now it would be six guys going out to face the alien hordes. Um, and that would be terrible. All right, let's go. Uh, we're gonna leave these squaddies behind to process their trauma. Uh, we'll take Moon Tiger back out, and we'll take the rookies as well. So Moon Tiger, Hair to Loss, Broken, Sirdong, Knight, uh, Chazzy, Nejin, Mew, Oscar, Orochi, and Stev are going out to f see the elephant. Uh, yeah, no, you're already in, but I need to get just in time in. All right, let's do it. And it's a daytime mission. Great. Laser rifles! No way we can lose. Don't say that. Please don't say that. That's... That's the thing that you say when you want to doom the party. Alright, so Moon Tiger, laser rifle, uh, and Prox Mine. Stun Rod in the backpack. Hair to loss. Laser rifle. Stun Rod in the backpack. Broken rocket launcher, that's fine. I'm actually going to give you two rockets because you deserve to suffer. Um, you're going to be very slow, uh, but you, you, need, you need it. It's for your own good. Uh, pistol, yeah, that's fine. Scout heavy weapons, auto cannon. Perfect. Uh, Nejin, weight 20. Uh, Nejin desperately needs to work out. Uh, we're gonna give Nejin two 
Prox Mines. <laughs> GC has the record for biggest multi-kill you've seen from one grenade. Uh, yes, definitely. I absolutely do. <laughs> Alright, Mewmeister. Now, Mewmeister is actually a sharpshooter heavy weapons, so Mewmeister gets a... an auto cannon. Uh, and prox mine, and flare, and smoke grenade, and... Uh, yeah, let's have one standard grenade too, just to make you slightly overweight. Uh, Oscar gets a rocket launcher, and a laser pistol, and a prox mine, and a smoke grenade, just to save your ass in case that becomes necessary. Orochi could have a laser pistol. Or a laser rifle. And laser rifles are just a strict upgrade over laser pistols, so we're gonna go ahead with the rifle. Like, pistols are slightly fire fa faster firing, um, but they're also less accurate and less powerful. The laser rifle is just better. I think, actually, even one-handing a laser rifle with a stun rod in your other hand is still more accurate and more powerful than a laser pistol. Is there a reason everyone is slightly overweight? Yes, actually. So, if you're slightly overweight, that encourages the game to assign you strength points at the end of the mission. Um, so there is, there is a reason for it. And as long as you keep the overweightness down to very slightly, it doesn't hinder you much. Uh, you can have, yeah, carry some spare ammo there. Okay. Uh, Herdalos has a couple extra strength points. You can carry a little bit of spare ammo. It's rude, they just have strong bones. <laughs> uh, Broken is actually very overweight, so... Uh... Yeah, drop the flare for now. And SDK can carry this rocket. Okay, sounds good. Are those strength points at the expense of other points, or is it purely a bonus? Um, it is purely a bonus. So, XCOM does not, like, allocate experience exactly. XCOM assigns you points based on, at the end of the mission, based on what you did. So, if you shot at aliens and hit them, you get accuracy points. Or you have a chance to get accuracy points. If you used up all of your stamina, Every turn, if you move your maximum distance every turn, you have a chance to get time units or stamina points. If you carried more, a lot of stuff and were overweight, you have a higher chance to get strength points. There is also just a random factor, I believe, and it's, it's a somewhat complicated formula, but that's the basic gist of it. By doing stuff, you get better at that stuff. Except for the times when doing stuff makes you better at other unrelated stuff, which also happens pretty frequently. Um, for example, I think shooting at aliens not only trains um, firing accuracy, shooting at aliens and hitting them also trains time units and to some extent like throwing accuracy or something else totally unrelated. Alright, so we're in the corner. That's good. Uh, we've got this little space and we're surrounded by buildings which are of course, of the devil. You need 22 for a snapshot. Uh, yeah, just... Thank you, Broken. Look, I'm telling you, man. Aliens are just the opposition. Buildings are the enemy. Um, I don't actually want to disembark a whole bunch more people because I'm afraid that someone will grenade me and everyone will die. So we're just going to kind of move forward.
<laughs> All right, Robin. Thanks for watching. Good night. Appreciate you stopping by. Um, I think this barn is probably clear, because no one has poked their head out to murder me yet. All right, that's open. If you die in the XCOM, you die in real life. Uh, thank God that's not true. Hello, aliens? Any aliens here? No? Good. Uh, yeah, I, I'm literally just, just leveling places right now because I really don't like how limited my lines of sight are. It's, it's honestly, legitimately more valuable to me to spend time and ammunition destroying all this shit than it is trying to push forward in many ways. Okay. Sir Dong Knight. Uh, hmm. Can't quite get to safety. Okay. You go over there, then. You don't want to die screaming while you're frying salmon? Uh, boy, you should probably just stay away from the salmon, then, I'll be honest. By clear a building, we mean clear it off the face of the earth. Yeah, that's about right. That's, that's pretty, you know, that, that, that's pretty much what we do here. That's our, that's our mission. Uh, Nijin, you also cannot reach safety. Hide behind the tank for a minute. Bionix doesn't mind. He's used to it. He's thick-skinned. <laughs> We're the good guys, yeah. You know, for a given, a given value of good and, uh, we and guys. All right, Oscar, congratulations. You win the, the lottery. You get to stay on the Sky Ranger for this turn. Can I also say that I really love how evocative this picture of it is of exactly something that happens in XCOM, where you've got a guy crouching behind cover because you think the last alien is over here but actually the last alien is standing in a corner of the same room, just heavy breathing in your direction, waiting for you to hit the end turn button. And then you turn with your last three turn time units to check the room, and you see a muton just standing there with a heavy plasma six inches from your face, like, hi, friend. It happens, trust me, it's really bad. Aha, aliens. Perfect. All right, good. Well done, Chazzy. You know, it's always a chrysalis when that happens. Oh, you're right. I'm so sorry. Hello? Okay, so it's a small UFO, so there shouldn't be more than 17 or 18 aliens on the map. What are those guys that bite soldiers and turn them into other creatures? Chrysalids. They're the worst. Um, if you've played New XCOM, the, the 2012, it's weird to call it new these days because it actually is an old game at this point, but it's newer than this one. Um, the chrysalids they have in that game are a pale facsimile, a shadow of the, the, uh, the chrysalids in this game. Oh! Welp. There's a couple of aliens. Nedjin is... Oh, Nedjin's super dead. Nedjin's incredibly dead. I've never seen anyone as dead as Nedjin still walking around breathing. Nedjin's dead as hell.
All right. Stev, I don't know what you think you're doing, but, like, I know we don't like buildings, but when I tell you to shoot at an alien, I'm actually not looking for redecorating at that specific moment in time. You're still, you're still doing it. You're still just, Mewmeister. Thank you, Mewmeister. Okay, hair to loss, that was better. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so... Uh, okay, so there is technically one possible way for Nedjin to live, which is, of course, if we finish the game in three turns. Um, will that happen? It's actually possible, because this is a small UFO. I exaggerated earlier, small UFOs typically only carry about six to eight aliens. We've already killed three. So, if we can draw the others out fast enough, Nedjin might survive. Um, I actually don't need to blow that building up. I've already blown it up enough. Well, I blew up some of it anyway, because I hate it. <laughs> Maybe Stev is training his throwing skill by throwing the mission. One is inside up? Yeah, almost certainly. So, like, I, I, don't, I don't want to exaggerate the chances here. It's like a 5%. Um, because, like, I'm sorry, but I'm not booking it over here to shove someone face first through the door as fast as I can. Um, that's not good praxis. Oscar. Yeah, go, just go up there, Oscar. Um, but if I was gonna book it over there and shove someone face first through the door, it would be Orochi. So, you know, we'll move in that direction. Should, considering your attitude towards the soldiers, look. They knew the risks when they took the job. They signed the forms. They knew what they were getting into. Saving the world from aliens is a tough job, and sometimes you need tough people. Um, and by tough, I mean specifically people who are not riddled with plasma holes. Okay, Nedjin has passed out because of inhaling all this smoke and also being shot full of holes. Let's just... Yeah, thank you. There's a... N oh my god, they might actually all be outside. What is happening? That's, how many is that? That was one, two, three, four, five. That's five already. No! Broken Y. That went at a 30 degree angle at least. That, 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 that was aimed here. And it went there. It went straight that way. Why would you do- you know what? You know what? I'm not- I'm not even- I- I- uh, <sighs> Okay. I'm not even gonna question it. You know what? It is what it is. Just that- Stop it. Stop it. Just stop it. Stop doing the things that you're doing.
There's yet a, I okay. Well, that wasn't the last alien yet. The aliens killed one of us, so we needed to kill one of us. That's how, that's how that works. I'm almost sure. Broken's last words were, hold my beer, I can make that shot. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's XCOM, baby. I, I, I mean, no, that was totally my fault. Like, I'm not gonna blame that one on the RNG. I should have, I should have known that shot could go horribly awry and just not made it. But, eh, I was moving too quick, I wasn't paying enough attention. C'est la vie, c'est la guerre. How many spaces is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. He should be fine. Um, is this game just about spamming rocket launchers? Uh, some of it, yes. In the early game, spamming rocket launchers is quite a strong tactic, um, because rocket launchers do a lot of damage and they enable you to clear away terrain that otherwise blocks line of sight. I'm not going to make it into the UFO in time to save Nidge, and he's going to bleed out this turn. Um, that's a shame, because I wanted to save Nidge, but in order to do that, we really did need all the aliens to be outside wandering around like a bunch of idiots. And I don't think they're doing that. They might be the last one might be holed up in here, or the last one or two might be holed up in the UFO. Um, it's not really possible to tell which. Break the goddamn... I know you have the strength to break this wall. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah. Uh, we're not gonna make it. Unfortunately. We've got Moon Tiger kind of watching. We've got Herodolas watching. Orochi's gonna go in, um, potentially with the support of Stev, who can come around this way. Have I ever had a soldier reaction fire a blaster bomb? Yes, I have. It's the worst thing in the world. I had a soldier... Okay, this is a true story. I don't think it was ever streamed. I think this was one of my personal playthroughs. But I was attacking a battleship. And so you know when you're attacking a battleship, you have that square nine-tile lift right in the middle? I had a soldier who was standing outside like here, holding a blaster bomb launcher, and I forgot to, to use up all his time units. I had six guys stacked up in power armor right around the lift, ready to go in. And a muton opened the door, lift door and walked out to this space right there. Blaster bomb, reaction fire, six casualties. Leveled the lift. And I just shut the game off. I just turned it off and walked away. Did the Muton die? Oh yes, the Muton was atomized. The Muton went to uh, his his green ape-like heaven in the sky, uh, but he, you know, with like, like six XCOM agents escorting him to alien Valhalla. Uh, Chazzy... Yeah, just stand at that window, why don't you? Oh, there's the alien. Wait, Nedjin's not dead yet. Hey, we saved Nedjin! <laughs> he wasn't hiding inside there. 
Nijin lives! That doesn't he? Doesn't Nijin live? Maybe he didn't get any... Doesn't... Doesn't Nijin live? Okay. You had a lost Chazzy Burger, me Meister. No! Nijin died! Aw, oh, man. I thought he lived. Shit. Rip. No! He should have had one HP. He should have had one HP left. It didn't pop up the message. <sighs> well, that's just rude. That, that... <sighs> it didn't, it, it didn't, it wasn't gonna pop up the death message. It didn't... <sighs> that's just really disappointing. I'm sorry, Nijin. I'm so sorry for your loss. And more importantly, I'm sorry that now I have to hire somebody to replace you again. Ah, uh, seven soldiers lost in a month. That's, yeah, yeah, that's, that's fine. That's fine. This is fine. My ghost is providing Nijin with moral support and haunted hugs. Sure, I'm glad we shaved the budget by taking away medkits. Look, medkits are coming, dude. Just, yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Trust me. Trust me, it'll be fine. Okay, production of laser rifles is complete. Um, we're gonna go ahead and make more, but we're just gonna sell them for 700 grand a month. Uh, that also reminds me I need to sell these rifles. Get them out of here. I don't want them. Uh, we need to sell that heavy plasma. We need to sell a plasma rifle. We need to sell our plasma pistols. Sell the mine probes and all but one of the corpses. Perfect. Thank God the accountants get their silver plated pens instead of med kits, exactly. Can we sell heavy plasma to sell? Yeah, you can sell them. We can't. We're not going to use them, and we're not going to make them. It's not worth making plasma weapons to sell, because they cost delirium. Um. Go from rookie to sergeant. Uh, yes, Mewmeister, you got promoted straight to sergeant. You killed two people in a single mission, and that impressed HQ enough that they made you a sergeant. Along with a uh, Moon Tiger, who has killed four people in two missions, and Herdalos, who has killed one person in two missions, but is very intimidating. Uh, so they just promoted him out of fear, I think. Uh, in terms of soldiers, we need more, I think. Do we have any currently coming? Yes, we already have a bunch of soldiers coming. They'll show up in about a day and a half to uh, help fill out the ranks once again. And uh, in 12 days, Pride Rock will finish building some of its stuff and we'll be able to start expanding that base, which will be great. Uh, can I use Illyrium in this game? Uh, as fuel, yes. Hey, look at that! Research completed, Medikit. Now all you whiners can stop whining about not having medicine. Ooh, Commander, we need medicine to live! Yeah, shut up. Ooh, Commander, the burn wounds in my soft, fleshy human body. Oh, it hurts so much! Quit your whining. Bah, medicine. Alright, we're gonna name some soldiers. First, the first soldier we're going to name is the estimable just in time. After that, we have who was it that who who's been signing up? Somebody was signing up. I wouldn't know I'm burning in plasma hell with lemon. <laughs> Alright, Cryo Ghoul. Uh, I remember, who was it? Who was the guy? Uh, Schizoritz. Schizoritz is a supporter of mine, and he was volunteering. I badly misspelled that. That's Schizortiz, not Sch Oh my, okay, wait, did I do that right? Did I do that right? Hold on, yes, I did that right. Okay, cool. And then back to the regular line. 
Yes, I'll remember to change you into Dr. Phil. Uh, Commander, we need body armor. Suck it up, Buttercup. Uh, Yuri Petrov. Followed by... Jackalore. Good old Jackalore. I noticed out of the corner of my eye a Bravery 10, so that's Jackalore for you. Jackalore is still following the tradition of people with very, very good stats in some ways who have Bravery 10 and are thus the worst. Sir Dog Knight has a new thumbnail image for me. Great. I'll, I'll take a look at it once we... I'm probably going to wrap this stream up in about 10 more minutes or so. Maybe one more mission. Um, eh, maybe I'll go to three hours. Maybe I'll do another half an hour. Oh, also, I need to remember to go back here. Hold on, where is he? Where's Phil? There he is. There he is. Yes, Dr. Phil. God, I can't type. Okay, where were we? Ah, uh, yes. Alright, Just In Time. Just In Time is uh, exceptionally mediocre. Just In Time is a grunt. Cryogool is incredibly brave and otherwise exceptionally mediocre. He is also a grunt, but he's very brave. Schizoritz is exceptionally brave and uh, bad. Very brave and not good at stuff. Uh, except throwing. So if I used like a grenadier class, that's what he would be. But that also starts with G, so he's a grunt. Uh, Yuri Petrov is actually good. Yuri Petrov is good at things, and I appreciate him, and I approve of him. He is a sharpshooter scout. And Jackalore is uh, the same, but more cowardly. He is also a sharpshooter scout. The sad tale of Dr. Phil. Alright, people are saying that this is good. I have to, I have to take a look at it. Hold on. Slightly improved version. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh god. The guile hair. The heavy weapons. <laughs> Why does he just has is that just a just a high explosive tape to the man's chest? Jesus H tap dancing Christ. Perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> okay. Uh yeah, so there we are. We're we're researching we're researching alien alloys to give you you complaining whiners body armor. Because for some reason uh plas absorbing plasma bolts with your face are apparently too good for you now. Uh we'll send out Interceptor 2 to go chase down this UFO. Hello, friend. Would you like to crash? Thank you. Okay, we've got a crash site. Um, let's go ahead and equip our Sky Ranger, shall we? We've got still got rockets. Put those large rockets on there. Put those laser rifles on there. Put these med kits on there. And for crew, we only have two empty seats to fill. We will fill them with Schizoritz and Just In Time. Uh, we don't need two sergeants. We're going to leave Moon Tiger behind. We'll take Chaotic Dreamer. Uh, in fact, we don't need three sergeants either. We'll drop off Herdalos and we'll bring in Yuri Petrov. Uh, we've got the captain on board, Chazzy Burger. I didn't even realize that Chazzy had been promoted to captain. Take a look at this this absolute lad. Three missions, seven kills. Uh, stats, still not amazing, but getting better. High time units, that's pretty good. I'm liking that. One of your oldest patrons. <laughs> you can be the Sky Ranger pirate pilot? Yeah, absolutely, dude. Not a problem. Good old Phaonix, driving the bus. Um, I'm actually gonna take the captain off, because, like, here, Chazzy, sit down, take a load off, relax, breathe. 
uh, tried to deal with your uh, presumably horrific PTSD. And uh, we'll send in the new guys to, to do this one, shall we? There we go, Phaonix. All right, Crash Site 1, here we go. Now, uh, the med kits mostly belong to people who are going to be kind of like in the midfield. And also people who don't have to carry a lot of weight. So Jackalore is going to get one because he's a sharpshooter scout. So he's he's speedy. He runs around. He does stuff. But he's not going to uh, be right up front. Uh, Yuri, likewise, can have a med kit and a laser rifle and a variety of bombs. Just a whole bunch of different flavors of explosive. That's what we like to hand out to our troops. Uh, Schizoritz can get a laser rifle. Uh, Medikit? I don't think so. Stunrod in the backpack, though. Go, and a rocket for good luck. Just in time. Uh, was Justin any good at stuff? Accuracy 51, yeah, he'd, okay, we'll give him a med kit. The regular assortment of bombs. Uh, you can have another rocket and a stun rod. Post team killing stress disorder. Perfect. Uh, we've got one more med kit we can assign to somebody, and let's give it to somebody who's pretty good at carrying weight. Uh, Mew Meister. Give you a med kit. There we go. Alrighty. Chaotic. I need you to prime and throw. There we are. Can I put out the massive flaw in the XCOM design division? They made a baton you can't fit on your belt. It's true. That this baton is like they made a goddamn long sword sized baton. All right, this is a baton you have to grip in two hands firmly, uh, and then perform a, a proper montante thrust in order to get it into the alien's face. Um, can I also mention, Phaonix, uh, I don't want to criticize your driving, but you did land us directly south of the UFO with the open, like, assault ramp pointing directly at their door. So, assuming anyone survived that, frankly, gargantuan explosion, um, they could have just hosed us down with uh, plasma bol bolts. Uh, I just thought I might mention that to you. You know, for, for future analysis, who the goddamn hell is shooting my tank? So they're over there, like right over there. And unfortunately, I can't really draw a bead on them right now. So let's take a little bit of cover. <laughs> it's all the Louisville slugger with batteries. Yeah, basically. I think that sounds about right. <laughs> There, Oscar, you get over on this side. Orochi, can you get down here somewhere? Uh, yeah, that seems fine, probably. Everyone else, just move on up. Did we not? Wow, we have an unassigned rocket launcher. Wow, we don't have enough heavy weapons guys in this group. Shameful display. Okay, they... Well... Well, I was about to say that Chaotic Dreamer apparently attended the Alex School of Plasma Face Absorption, but then he died, so he didn't... If he attended that school, he did not score great marks. Uh, Stev, could you just please come down here? Like, right there. Excellent. Is this a record? Absolutely no. The record is turn one blaster bomb into the ramp, everyone dead. 
immediately take off. Uh, that has never technically happened to me. I have never had everyone die. I have been blaster bombed round one and had the first ten people die, leaving four at the other end, um, and then I just immediately lifted off and abandoned the mission. I have absolutely done that. Alright, get behind the hedge for cover. Orochi, get down behind the wheels. Justin! Get behind that wheel. Skits. Um... Mm, go straight down this way. Hide behind the tank. Yuri, you have a... Yeah, you have a med kit. Go with him. And Jackalor... He's gonna go over here where he's kind of covered by the smoke. Uh, do you t keep your team's gear? Okay, so anything that's left in the Sky Ranger, you keep. Anything that was on the person of a person who died. Um, if you win the mission, you get their gear back, except the armor. The armor is always lost. Uh, if you lose the mission, obviously you don't get anything back. If you grab a corpse, if you grab equipment and lug it back to the Sky Ranger and then take off and run, uh, you get to keep everything that you lugged back to the Sky Ranger. Okay, we're gonna check the opposite side. Aha! A building. The enemy. And then we're gonna park in front of the door to the UFO, so if an alien tries to come out, all he'll be able to do is volley plasma fire into this tank. And these two guys will go up there. TF2 level spy mask of your face over the burn wound. Ah, uh, yeah, that sounds about right. That's, uh, that's XCOM medical care right there. I really do not like this. This is really not my favorite. I don't think it's really the cardboardness, like the cardboard nature that hurts morale so much as it is the like the head-sized holes and the the scorched blood. You know, and the the memories of pain that are attached to it, you know, all that kind of stuff. That 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 stuff does that can hurt morale a little bit. When, you know, the new rookie is issued a suit of armor and they're like, uh, why does a suit of armor have a like a patch in the middle right around the sort of heart and lungs area that doesn't quite match the rest of it. Like, has this been repaired or something? And all the veterans are like, no, no, no we would never. No, of course not. One careful owner. Uh, yeah. Rip to a real one. Uh, we do still have an auto cannon. I might pick that auto cannon up. Yep, see, that? That's why I parked a tank in the door. That is why I parked a tank there. Nobody wants the armored pants of someone whose top half was vaporized. Hey, you. Hey, asshole. Get over here. Yeah, you. Okay, you're not dead, which is not great. Um, 
I don't think he'll be able to come out here and kill us. I think that's too far to walk. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, that might not be too far to walk. Uh, he might be able to come out and kill somebody. We're just going to put the tank as close as we can and hope that when he opens the door, he sees the tank and fires everything at it instead. I'm impressed with that sectoid, by the way. That sectoid absorbed a laser shot, and a laser rifle normally kills a sectoid outright. Also, my god, there's some bodies in here. One, two, three, four, five sectoids have died in a perfectly straight line right down the middle of this ship. Um, which is weird, because, like, normally they wouldn't be standing there, but I guess some kind of terrible linear accident occurred. Um, this guy has a plasma rifle, but that's five, six, seven, seven dead and one living. That should be most of them. Anyone die this mission? Uh, alas, yes. Unfortunately. I I need I need you to not I need you to please just actually destroy the hedge, thank you. enemy in disguise. <laughs> Look, hedges, they're just hedges, man. I don't know what else to say. They're just bad news. Okay, there's Jackalore. Um, do I pick up the autocannon? Oh, that's right. Jackalore is incredibly weak. Uh, no, I don't pick up the autocannon. Jackalore's noodle arms would snap like twigs. Oh, okay, we scared the alien. Wonderful. Uh, well, he's hiding somewhere now. He went... I think he went into that room because I heard a door. So the alien is cowering in this closet, hoping that we will forget about him. Um... Fuck you, alien. Oh yeah, no, the flower beds in Xenonauts are the worst. As hilarious as it was to be completely foiled by a flower bed. Uh, Oscar, you just go... Yeah, go around that way. Please do not bring your rocket launcher into this UFO. You Meister, that's fine. All right, SDK, kick open the door, no aliens, good. Up the stairs, no aliens, good. Stev, kick open the door, aliens, no, good. Justin, aliens, no, suspicious, but good. Orochi. Aliens? No. Hmm. Aliens? Hmm. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that door will open, the alien will walk out, explode, and the mission will end. But more likely, this door will open, the alien will walk out, come over here, and, and try to murder Skits. I have found him. He's not, he doesn't want to die. He's being frustratingly obstreperous about dying. I, 
I personally would really like him to die, and the fact that he won't is somewhat frustrating. Okay. Okay, that's the edge of the map, so that's good. Yeah, these sectoids, some of these sectoids just have really, really tough faces. Like, I'm just saying, I don't think we need armor, we need to develop alien face technology, because these aliens, they have really, they're really pushing the limits of face-based defenses. Um, in a way that I think we at XCOM could really learn from, to be honest. You know, like, we've been trying to develop an impenetrable face for a long time, but, uh, we still have a ways to go. And these sectoids, they've got, they've got something special. Their faces are very, very tough. Any sufficiently advanced face is indistinguishable from armor. <laughs> oh lord, we have fun here. Yeah, you're right, Panda. Panda is is living, breathing proof that in Xenonauts, one of the uh, one of the the technological improvements of the years since 1999 is in fact enhanced face technology. All right, where's this last bastard? Where's this motherfucker? I'm a, it, it, is there literally an alien hiding in this tiny closet? I'm gonna be so mad if there's an alien hiding in here. Okay, good. Uh, I need to remember and respect that I have placed a time bomb uh, on the ground. Okay, building secure. Wait, there is a second story. Okay, building secure. Oh, what is way over there? Okay, there's something way over there. He's sneaking around so he can steal the plane. <laughs> oh my god, I would I would unironically love it if that was a thing that could happen in this game. Just like, yeah, if you uh if the aliens are scared enough and you don't have someone guarding the Sky Ranger, they just fucking jack it behind your back. No aliens. Good. Alright, this building's clear. I mean, this building is still the enemy, obviously, but, like, we don't have proof of its treason as of yet. Stev... The okay, so so wait, so hold up, Steph. I need to ask this. Like, like. So when I want you to shoot at an alien, you carefully blast away every wall behind him in a forty-five degree cone. But when I want you to shoot at a wall, you instead take issue with the existence of wheat and attempt to destroy it for good and all. Alright, I need you to go back around this corner and think about what you've done for a minute. Jackalore, I need you- I- Jackalore. Thank you. God, the shit I put up with in this outfit. Can we catch fire? Yes, it can. Uh, Yuri, come out this way. All 
All right, where is this last motherfucker? Where is he? He's not in here. He must be in these buildings somewhere. He's in the small room? What small room? I've searched all the small rooms. Okay, Jackalore is going to provide covering fire. Over here, uh, I was about to say Oscar will provide covering fire, but then I remembered that Oscar has a rocket launcher, and I really don't want him taking reaction shots, so Yuri will provide covering fire. In the UFO, was that not a power door we heard? It was, but it was the door closing that I had opened to examine the, the, the small room. There he is. I found him. I found the alien. He's right there. Okay. Um, I don't think anyone has a... Actually, hold on a second. Orochi, do you have a shot on that alien? What's blocking your line of... Ah... Do you have a shot now? You do. Well, I say a shot, but... Alright. Yuri from downtown! Nothing. Okay, uh, well, 43 for an aimed shot with a rocket launcher. And it's Oscar with the gold! <laughs> okay, good mission. Good mission. One casualty. Five kills, nine corpses recovered. It was all right. Not too shabby. Got some good strength points. Got some small accuracy points. Schizoritz improved his throwing skill by one. Uh, Chaotic, what, what am I looking at? What, what do I need to look at now? Oh, nice one, dude. Very well done. I love it. I'm a huge fan. Also, oh god, there's a chrysalid in yours. The horror. The sheer horror. <laughs> no one died from your parking? I don't know, Phaonix. Put it on screen? Okay, okay, hold on. We're, we gotta wait for a second. I'm gonna... The stream is actually going to end in like 15 minutes, but I'm, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna put this in. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Alright, the 
thumbnail, the, it's happening, the thumbnail is happening. Uh, where'd it go? There it is. Alright, there's the, there's the appropriate thumbnail. Oh no, I'm gonna be using both of them. Just probably on different streams. Okay, unfortunately we lost Chaotic Dreamer, but fortunately he wasn't all that great, so... Uh, we will survive. Uh, sorry, Chaotic. Your sacrifice is appreciated. We wish you all the best in your future endeavors of being dead. Uh, I need to sell those mind probes. These sectoid corpses... Perfect, another cool two million. I will say, one benefit to not using plasma weapons is you get to sell piles and piles of plasma weapons and make a shit ton of money uh, very early on. Like, if I wanted to right now, I could start a third base. And that would be sort of hilarious. Ghost Squad has cookies and safety. It's not too bad. Uh, let me go ahead and buy some more missiles of various kinds. We need some more avalanche missiles. We need some more HWP rockets. We need some more large rockets, probably. We always need more large rockets. That is a very small UFO on the ground. Um, so, a very small UFO is literally one alien, and to be honest, I don't actually want to attack it on the ground because there's the chance I would lose a guy, and that's not worth it. So, I'm just gonna send an interceptor to patrol over it, and then hopefully kill it when it takes off. Yeah, we're gonna do this. No, come back! Come back! Come back here, you bastard! Don't you dare run away from me! God damn it. There we go. Perfect. What is the challenge of the run? The rules are in the, uh, the rules are in the description. Uh, I need, I need even more, uh, things. Hey, look at that! We got, uh, we finished our medkit production. Um, I'll produce a couple more medkits just for funsies, I guess. I'll put ten guys on that, and all the rest on producing laser rifles to sell to African warlords. Uh, no plasma beams on crafts. We actually are allowed to use plasma beams because plasma beams are alien, are human alien derived technology. Um, we invent plasma beams. Aliens don't. They're based off of alien technology, obviously, but they're, they're our work. Uh, let us equip. Phaonix here has, wait, has five available space. Uh, well, I wonder why the tank came off. Oh, did it not have enough heavy, it didn't have enough um, tank rockets. Okay, well, it has tank rockets now. Uh, let's bring Cryo Ghoul, shall we? And we will leave off SDK in favor of Dr. Phil, who hasn't gotten to go out in a little while. We're gonna see if we can get this guy to just land on his own. So we're just gonna follow him for a little bit. Uh, well, he was outrunning us, so that worries me a little bit. Is that a very small UFO? Yes, that's, that's another very small scout. All right, shoot it down. Perfect. Okay, we finished our alien containment. That's really good. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and buy another, like, 20 avalanche missiles, because we keep running low. And we are going to build. Um... How are we on living quarters? We're... Living quarters and stores we need more of. So let's build another living quarters. Let's build another general stores. Uh, we can now capture alien prisoners, which is great. Let's go ahead and throw down another workshop. And we still have two and a half million. And it's only halfway through the month. 
and Pride Rock has finished its hangar. So, we now need to build a general stores and a living, nope, not there, and a living quarters. And we need to purchase an interceptor. There we go. We finished researching alien alloys. So alien alloys are really tough metal. Extremely light and durable, can be molded by electromagnetic methods. Technically, most metals can be molded by electromagnetic methods if you're willing to put enough energy into it. But in any case, we can build this alloy. So now we can research personal armor to make you cowards happy about having armor between your, your vulnerable flesh and alien uh, plasma bolts. And we finished producing medikits, so that's good. We can just build laser rifles to sell to uh, someone unpleasant, I'm sure. Okay, as soon as we get a general store, we'll be able to buy missiles and weapons. Okay, we finished building a laboratory. We have eight more days on a living quarters. And we don't have any research going on. My god, what is happening? Um... Did I finish researching personal armor already? Why did it not pop up a message? Yeah, I have personal armor, I guess. Okay, that's... That's weird that it didn't put up, put up a message, but okay, that's cool. I'm not mad. I'm just confused. All right, let's build some personal armor, and for research, let's go ahead and research the heavy laser, because the heavy laser will be our sniper tool. Ah, there it is. It popped up now. Okay, that's fine. Oh boy, that looks like a terror ship. Um, and it is going somewhere in a hurry, so it's probably a terror ship. Or possibly a, um, an abductor. Let's follow it. I think we're probably gonna... If it's a terror ship, we're not gonna fight the terror mission because, like I said, it's been about three hours. It is 10 p.m. for me, so it's about time for me to sign off because I do have work in the morning. If I can shoot it down, I probably will. In this mod, heavy lasers are actually worth something? Yes. Yes, in this mod, heavy lasers are actually... They're not fantastic weapons, but they're a lot better than in native. Um, okay, it looks like he's just fucking off. So, that's fine, I guess. There's a small UFO, we'll go shoot him down. Yeah, just, just shoot him down. We've gotten a reasonable amount of delirium for this early in the game. So it's okay if we just shoot a couple of these guys down. Uh, that wasn't helpful. Didn't like that. All right, Gatsby, go out and finish the job, please, if you can. You don't have any missiles. Why don't you have any missiles? Okay, you have missiles. Perfect. Crash lands. Excellent. Love it. Like it. Love it. Gotta have it. When is the next stream? So the plan currently is to have two streams a week. One stream in the weekend will be Battle Brothers, one stream in the middle of the week, so probably Wednesday most of the time, will be uh, XCOM. Uh, but like I said, it's been about three hours, it is late in the day for me, so I am gonna close it up here before I go attack, and we'll start next stream by going and attacking that crash site. I'm tempted to try and push on just to end the month, but it's more than a week until the end of the month, so something else would happen. So yeah, we're just gonna cut it here. But in any case, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, we're doing well. Henry, you have such terrible timing. Uh, you are literally coming on as the stream is ending. But, uh, we're doing well. Our funding has actually gone up in the last month. Um, we're good on money, we're good on research. Uh, we're doing, we're moving quick. We're doing well. When will I stream again? Like I said, so I will stream again on Sunday, I will stream Battle Brothers, and I will stream this game again next Wednesday. If you enjoyed this stream, leave a like on it, let YouTube know what, that you enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for your donations, your support, your chatter, uh, your criticism, etc. And I will see you all next week. Take care, everybody.